This video is the only dribbling video you will ever need in eFootball. Welcome to the ultimate dribbling guide. Today, I will show you the essentials on how to dribble better and leave everyone in A. Share this video with your friend who has no risk, no skill, so he can learn something. And let's go! Before we continue to the video, I just want to say that I still have that 101 Kieza account. And I will be giving it away once again because the previous winner didn't claim it. So we're going to do this all over again. And if you want to get this account, all you need to do is just to comment and I will pick a one random winner and give him that account. Also, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications so you don't miss out when I post new videos and announce the winner. Good luck. Moving on to the video, the one important thing that your player needs to have to dribble better is better stats. Just go to your player's attributes and then scroll to the right and there you can find your player's stats. The most important ones for dribbling are ball control, dribbling, tight possession, speed and acceleration to break through defenders, and also balance and stamina. From what I've seen, shorter players have better balance. So like players like Foden, Maradona, Messi. I'm sorry, but they are short, says someone who's short himself. Anyways, the shorter your player is, the better you can dribble with them because the thing is, the contact ground time and all that stuff is gonna be so much better with short players, so you're gonna have easier time to dribble. Like just imagine, tall players are clunky as hell. Small players are more agile and they have more balance and speed and acceleration. So yeah, makes sense. But the one downside is, they just get pushed so easily. But if you can avoid that, then you're good to go. Moving on to the essentials. There are three things you need to master. Timing, precision, and distance. When executing a skill, you need to align it perfectly. Not too early, not too late, just perfectly. When a defender is approaching and about to take the ball from you, do a skill some milliseconds before he's gonna do that. That's the perfect timing. Also, you gotta be precise with your skill. You need to know where you need to swipe your joystick to perform some kind of skill. If a defender is running towards you, then you also need to swipe your joystick to that defender. So like, let's say your Foden does a double touch and dribbles past through him. Like you're not gonna swipe here or there. It's just because it's dumb. Sure, you can do it, but is it optimal? Nah. You also need to be able to keep a safe distance from your opponent. If you get too close, they can body you. So always be patient and kind of play it slow and chill. The biggest mistake people make while dribbling is they try to rush. While in dribbling, you need to do quite the opposite. You just need to chill, bro. Relax. I do that mistake as well. I try to rush and most of the times I just fail tremendously so keep it cool and slow and also please just please stop spamming them okay stop spamming things it is it looks cringe i'm gonna say that to you it looks cringe it's not cool it's not cool at all that's not skill it's not called skill you need to be able to time it correctly not just spam you idiot <clears throat> uh. Anyways, um, remember, dribbling is not always necessary. When you have a better pass opportunity, you better pass the ball. But I guess if you are feeling cracked, then pop off, <laughs> my boy. Keep in mind that to become a better dribbler, you need practice and time. Over time, you're just gonna become better. Just keep practicing it and don't give up. You got this. Anyways, guys, that's it from me. I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something new. That was my quick guide about dribbling. Don't forget to like and subscribe. The Kiesa account is waiting for you. I am Rivus and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.